Luella, who is an artist, and she does lino cuts, prints, she draws, and she works in theaters, and she is also clowning. You do therapeutic art at uh, St. Martha's hospital on the third floor. Can you tell us what a session looks like? Sure, yeah. I've been lucky for um, to be going into the hospital for about a year now, uh, a little more, and I just go in every week. They um, allow me to come in and bring some supplies and I go into the common area and just see if anybody's um, up for creating some art with me. Uh, I find a lot of people there are just sort of waiting around, so often I'll just ask people, and sometimes they're hesitant because they don't think they're um, creative, but I'm trying to encourage everybody to do something and to find a different way of creating um, if they don't feel like they're skilled. So I go in and usually have one big piece of paper and um, sometimes, I mean, every week is totally different. There might be one person, there might be eight people and I sort of suss out what their interests are um, or what their sort of skill level is and I will um, sort of work with that and as well as at, you know, at Christmas time, I'll try to do some ornaments or make some sort of seasonal things um, for each season. So, um, just sort of see if people want to do some something creative with me. <laughs> Interesting. And uh, you've also been working with people with disabilities, uh, doing arts with them. Can you tell us why you got involved? I just, for me, being creative and doing um, art and dance and theater has always come naturally and so then um, I've just sort of ended up working with people with disabilities in that sort of realm. Um, I went away to work at these communities called Camp Hill um, Camp Communities, which is a sort of stem off of Rudolf Steiner uh, Waldorf schools and they're, they're sort of motto is to create and live in a very artistic therapeutic life so um, I did uh, theater groups and uh, dance groups and I worked in a weavery there and sort of sort of just fell into naturally working um, with people with different abilities um, and disabilities I suppose yeah and you feel like doing art is helping them I mean, I, I think it helps everybody. I think it's, um, I think it just is a natural, first of all, it's a pastime. Second of all, it's a way to express yourself. Um, and it's fun, you know, and I think people don't give enough credit to having fun these days. <laughs> um, so, and I think it, you know, it depends what sort of, what group you're working with, but um, you know, creative expression is maybe a way for somebody who might not be able to, you know, express themselves verbally, um, you know, uh, the way they would want to. It's a different way of expressing themselves, which I find natural as well. Noella, do you think it's more important to focus on art uh, instead of disease and illness? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I think, you know, uh, in this day and age, we have a great, um, we have a health system that, you know, provides us with medicine and, you know, the immediate necessary care, but I don't think um, we give enough credit to the other elements of healing and, um, you know, helping ourselves to get through an illness or a hard time um, and a lot of that can be helped by you know different types of arts as well as you know exercise but you know just doing something that makes you feel good and you know for myself if I sit down and draw it calms me down so if I'm not feeling well um, to whatever extreme if I give myself that time to, you know, draw, it, it really releases something. And now everybody has their different hobbies and different skills, but I think that, you know, even somebody who's never picked up a pencil before, if they, if they let themselves, you know, just color in, a lot of times I'll just make shapes and we just color. And that sort of release away from yourself, 
can be such a therapeutic sort of thing, you know, like just stop worrying about everything even, you know. Um, I think that that can help heal, you know. Um, I have a friend who just sort of went through a very hard time and um, he sort of has told me that we spent a lot of time together and he said before that he'd never thought about doing art or anything and um, after when he was in the hospital recovering he um, said the only thing that made his sort of will to live was to pick up and draw because out, everything else was too much for him but as soon as he started drawing he was able to cope with things and then it built up his health so I mean I think that's you know very important <laughs> okay we gotta start this art revolution and just get everybody creating there's no boundaries between you know you don't have to be a professional artist to create and I'm tired of that being a reason that people stop and don't do something so that's sort of my encouragement just do it <laughs> Not to be like Nike, but... <laughs> Is there <laughs> other things you'd like to share with us? Um, well, um, I meant to say this earlier. I Another one of the things I'm trying to encourage is for people to stop being so serious. Uh, I think, you know, we don't give enough credit to having fun and um, what that does to our mental health. One of my favorite parts of being a clown is that they worship failure. <laughs> they, um, you know, imperfections are perfect. Don't, don't try to, don't be so hard on ourselves, you know. Um, um, be silly. Let yourself be vulnerable by, you know, having fun. <laughs> Stop being so serious or else I'll be annoyed. Thanks for being here with us. No, today, thank Noella. you. It was very interesting. Thanks for having me.